Good morning. I was kind of waiting um, for these next sunspots to roll around. So it was this one in particular, 3742, you guys, 3742 that I was waiting for to appear um, just because of the language and what 3742 means. So I'm going to show that to you. This one uh, does, it's of great interest to me because it's coming right around to the middle. Um, and it's rather large, even though there's no activity on the sun right now. But I do want to show you what 3742 means. So here it is, 3742. At first glance, it doesn't look like it's important, but oh my goodness, you guys. I When you see what it means, and then you look at my new pictures, and my calendar, um, it's amazing. So it's cherub. Uh, cherub is what we call them in English. It's the chariot of Jehovah. Now, the chariot in the sky, we've called him Mercury. That's what, you know, the tarot card deck um, references the chariot. It's a reference to Mercury, the messenger of the gods. Um, it's the image of of the form hovering over the Ark of the Covenant. And if you looked at my community page, you will see that my new picture is the Ark of the Covenant. Cherubs, cherubim, okay. Look at what it means. Um, com a figure compounded of that of a man, an ox, a lion, and an eagle. These together with a man symbolize power and wisdom. They are first spoken about as guardians of paradise, of course, which we've talked about Genesis 3.24 a lot on the channel. Okay, so the man, the ox, the lion, and the eagle. Again, it is my green calendar. So here is my newest picture. Um... It's a palanquin, you guys. It's a litter. It's where the poles sit across the shoulders and they carry people, particularly women. The women sit under a canopy on top of the shoulders of these men and the poles, okay? It's a palanquin, I had told you the other day. I have a word, a glorious word, about how most of the weight is on Jupiter's shoulders. That word from the Spirit was from August of 22, you guys. And now look, we have Jupiter, the fours, with most of the weight on his shoulders. Okay, that is a glorious word. That word is called God has a plan. It is about how when there's chaos, when chaos ensues, come with me to a place of peace. Most of the weight is on Jupiter's shoulders. Okay, that's what the word is all about. And here we have Jupiter, the fours, holding the poles. So this is the Ark of the Covenant, and it is the mercy seat. Here is the Ark of the Covenant, you guys, and it's, it is like carried by poles. It's got the wings of the cherub right here. Um, there are other depictions that have the wings going outward, but this, this is also my rainbow picture, you guys, because in between the wings of the cherub right here, it was said that there was always an arc of electricity that would come out. You know how Uzzah tried to touch the Ark of the Covenant and it like killed him dead? And then in Revelation, it says that the Ark of the Testament was opened and lightnings came out. There, There's a mythology about electricity or some kind of power between the wings of the cherubs. And of course, then my rainbow picture um, is an ark. This is the Ark of the Covenant, and the shoulder blades are the wings. An ark is a spark of electricity, lightning, 
something like that coming out of the wings of the cherub. That, that's all mythology about the Ark of the Covenant. So we are looking at the mercy seat. In my last picture drawn, we are looking at the mercy seat, which means Kapareth, you guys, which is Kapoor, which is the day of atonement and the day of judgment. We are looking at judgment day. Now, I don't want to be dramatic about this because most people don't know, but Romans 2, the book of Romans says that the Gentiles cannot be judged by the law because they are not under law. So it's not like judgment day is coming to the world as much as judgment day is coming to the children of the covenant, the children of the oath. The Gentiles who have not the law will, cannot be judged by the law. Guys, it's in scripture. Nobody knows it. So people are very dramatic about the apocalypse and judgment day. The apocalypse to us is the revelation of God. And, and therefore, it should be nothing but glory. Okay? It should be nothing but goodness and light. Okay, guys. So what we have so far is my green calendar created because I saw a chariot in the sky. We have since developed that calendar to look like Ezekiel's wheel. Even the colors of my green calendar, barrel is a light green and amber is the center yellow and red. Okay, so We've developed that picture to look like Ezekiel's wheel, a wheel within a wheel, and all the living creatures, the ox, the lion, the eagle, and the man, are now in that green picture. Okay, the chariot is something that's carried on your shoulders. It, it, okay, it's a palanquin, you guys, and it's a litter. It's also you know, it could be many things. Chariot could be many things, including mercury. Um, a covered litter, generally for one person, used in India. Okay, litter, sedan, couch, bed, litter. Okay, guys? Hook and angle, that which bends around the body. A pole to carry a burden. Okay, so I wanted to show you this couch, bed, and litter. And let's look at the related entries. Counselor, minister, there was something, oh, I think maybe it's litter. Yeah, it's litter. Okay, so we're going to go to litter, guys. A bed, a bed like vehicle carried on men's shoulders, a portable bed, litter, stretcher, beer, straw, straw, right here, straw and bedding, bed, lounge, sofa, dining couch. I, <laughs> to straw used for bedding, guys, straw used for bedding. So this is what I mean when I told you that that picture of the litter and the palanquin is related to the word star in Greek. So we're going to take a look. Okay, Aster, of course, who's Esther, who is Venus to us, okay? A star um, as strewn over the sky. So I must tell you that the word strewn is the word strewn is the word straw, okay? Look at the root, star in Greek, look at the root. Stronu, here it is. To spread, to furnish, to spread is to strew. When you're spreading something, shaking something over, uh, you know, salt over your meal, you're spreading it, you're strewing it. Okay, to spread with couches or divans. Make one's bed. Straw, guys, right there. This is why I told you that that picture is related to the word Greek. Straw, I'm sorry, is related. It's early. It's related to the word star in Greek. Furnish, strew, strew, make a bed. 
spread as a carpet or couch. You guys, this is our magic carpet ride that we've talked about over the years. Okay. Um, spread with couches or divans, make a bed. Okay. So let me show you where this comes from. Through the idea of positing. Do you see that right here, you guys? The root through the idea of positing. Okay, so now we're going to talk about all of the things that we have learned about the word posit and what this looks like to me. Okay, you guys, so the word posit and how this is all related to the chariot. Um, we have had a word, mercury. Now, mercury is the chariot, is going to deposit a gift at your feet. Mercury is supposed to deposit a gift at your feet. Mercury is the chariot, and we're talking about positing, okay? Posit, you guys, it's, it's no longer in use um, at its root, which is pone. The only place it's in use is in the word deponent. Okay, so deponent is a person who's questioned at a deposition in court. Now, if you will look at the word deposition, you see the word posit in it. Posit is in the word deposition. So deponent is deposed in court in, in a deposition. So again, we are talking about the judgment throne. And we're talking, this is what we're talking about. We are talking about going to the judgment throne of God. We were talking about a life review. You are going to be questioned and you are going to answer. And you what you're going to be reviewing is all of your pictures that are in your film strip of your mind. Because the deponent is the witness has the testament and testimony of a f memory of a record of photographs in their mind. This is your memory bank because you are going to the bench. You are going to the bank. In your memory bank, you guys, you have pictures stored up there of what you have been imagining of what you have been thinking upon. And as a man thinketh, so he is. Okay? So you hopefully have been imagining pictures of hope, imagining pictures of heaven. And you are going to be reviewing your memory book. Okay. These, the word posit is the word pose. So the root word of the word pose is pause. So stop and pause and pose for your picture. You are taking a moment, a memento of this moment. It's a very important moment, and it's one that you want to commemorate, you guys. So pause, pose for your picture. What's going off? The camera flash is going off. These are all the words that we have related to the word posit. Now, the camera flash, we call it a solar flash, and we've called it a resurrection flash. And I really, really get the idea that you want to, and this is exactly what, what's happening. You are being commemorated as a star in the sky. You guys, if you will imagine, it's the movie um, Lion King, and I think it's Pumbaa or, or Timon, one of Simba's friends, who says that he thought that the stars in the sky I don't remember now, but it's like there's a pin, a black pin cushion, pin cushion up there, and the stars 
are simply diamonds of commemoration. You are going to be pushing your diamond into the pin cushion of the cosmos. You are being posited. This is your post. You are taking your position amongst the stars. Do you remember how we were taught that you will become a fixed and established star? A fixed star doesn't seem to move, guys. Okay? But you can also be a wandering star, which in Greek is the word planetos, a planet, because you have a new improved GPS system. So you're not only fixed and established in your post in the heavens, guys, but you are also allowed to roam free as a wandering star. So I very much get the idea that this is something that we want to, this, this moment, this time, this moment in time is something that we want to commemorate, guys. Um, it, this is your statue being formed. It, it's a commemoration. It's a memorial, guys. It, it's a statue that's developed in your honor. A statue created in your honor. Okay, so you know all of the statues we have um, of, you know, the Moses and David and Mercury and all these mythological real people <laughs> that have the statues, okay? A statue, guys, is... is it's because you're freezing, you're pausing in this moment of time. And you're being captured, guys. You're capturing this moment in time in your memorial book. It's, oh my goodness, it's the book of remembrance when God makes up his jewels. That's what you are. You are being commemorated in the stars. A fixed and established place in the stars. This is definitely your niche, your statue. A niche is made to place a statue in. You're getting your own niche in the stars. Okay. Seems to me a picture needs to be taken also to commemorate. And in order to, um, yeah, I'm seeing it. In order to take a picture, you need the camera to flash. This is the blink of the eye because the camera is the eyeball. This is the blink of the eye. Okay. So it, it, it seems to me that all of my pictures are speaking, um, we, we've already talked about you know, the important dates that I see, 7-11, 7-12. Um, if, if the 12 o'clock hour up here is 7-11, maybe this is even to, today, guys, 7-10. I don't know. Um, this could be 7-12. This would be 7-11. This would be 7-13. I don't know. This is what my pictures are speaking to me. Um, and I really, it seems to me this is the pinnacle of my pictures, especially with the last picture being the Ark of the Covenant, the mercy seat, the judgment throne. Um, this could literally be nothing more than good fortune and joy coming to you, or it could be as dramatic as um, you know, getting a glimpse of heaven, right? I don't know how this is going to look. I don't even know if I have the right time. It seems to me, guys, that over the past seven months, we've been right on target with time, but 
we've thought that other times too. So I don't know what else to say. I really do think this is the pinnacle. Um, with the word cherub showing up, and cherub means my calendar. A sunspot named cherub. Cherub is the meaning of my calendar. The man, the ox, the eagle, the lion, Ezekiel's chariot. Barrel color, which is light green. Amber color from the center, which is right here. Wheel within a wheel. The four corners are four wings, the four faces. We've talked about it before. This is the definition of the cherub, which turns out to be the chariot, who is supposed to deposit a gift at your feet. And now we have the word star, which is what you want. You want your morning star, and which is, you know, a sun, basically. Uh, you want to be carried in, in the litter. That would be nice. I, I don't know. I think that's it, guys. See you in the next one.